Crafters, it's Gina from OrchidandOpal.com. So excited to bring you another unboxing today. So this is one I haven't done in a while. This isn't one of my usual subscriptions or anything, uh, but she had contacted me again recently. I had done a couple of subscription unboxings for Urban Glitz Fashions over the summer. You may have seen those videos. So like I said, this isn't a subscription that I get normally, but she's always sent some really unique things. And when she asked if she could send me another package to unbox, I was like, of course. So this is a little bit of a pricier subscription. This one, I will link it down below if you're interested, by the way. But it is $34.99 a month, and I think it's $5 a month shipping as well. Of course, that's in the U.S., and there are different options. There's a boho chic, a glamour, a rock star, and then a surprise box that you can opt to get. And these are supposed to be higher end items that are specially curated for your beading, especially if you are one of those beaders who likes more bolder items and likes to use things that are more out of a lot of people's comfort zones. So I have no idea what's inside. I'm excited to see what's in here. So here is our bag right here and we have a little card so let's take a look at that it looks like there's 11 things in here which is great it says happy spring 2019 this is a glam edition and it's got the list of everything that's inside so let me open up the package and we'll take a look at everything one by one okay so the first thing on our list it says it's 35 inches of turquoise fabric link chain so this is what I'm talking about, you guys. Very, very outside the box. So this is really interesting. I was sent something like this recently from another box, but it was like a plastic or acrylic chain. This I actually much prefer. This, as it says, it is a fabric link chain. So if you could tell, instead of it being plastic or acrylic, this is like each link is kind of like wrapped in fabric and it's very sturdy. Now, I wouldn't use this for my personal jewelry making, although I'm sure many of you could and make some beautiful things with it. I will probably use this for some type of decor item or repurpose it in another way. I think the blue is really pretty. Definitely a very outside the box and unique item. So the next thing on our list, it says it's one meter of blue and gold flat cord. This is actually gorgeous. I would love to make some type of bracelet out of this, like some type of multi-strand bracelet and as you can see it's a beautiful blue color and it's got like this gold metallic kind of reminds me of like a little snake skin type of pattern or something like that again a very outside of the box outside of your comfort zone type of item but I actually kind of like this and I could kind of see this working with something I might like to do the third thing inside is two meters of cream Chinese waxed cord which is beautiful. So this actually feels really silky. It's very nice. The waxed texture is very nice, very smooth. And it feels like quite a bit. It says it's two meters, so it definitely feels like this would go a long way. The cream is a very pretty color. So we've got some stringing materials here, first and foremost. Then number four, it says it's 35 pieces of white imitation pearl beads and these are six millimeter. Here's the package they come in. Actually everything's numbered so if you're curious on how to figure out what everything is, if you find something that you're not sure about, everything is numbered like that. So these just look like, you know, you're pretty much standard glass pearls. Nothing too fancy about these, but I definitely use them. So I will add them to my collection. The fifth item says these are 25 pieces of brown jasper beads and they are eight millimeter in size. And they just have different tones of brown on them. And as, as you can tell, they are stone beads. So they will have that variation in color. All right, so number six on our list is 25 pieces of taupe transparent jade beads. And these are also an eight millimeter. And I love the transparency on them. And they're beautiful as I move them around. They have a little bit of play with the light. They're kind of like a really light tan or kind of champagne color. They're very nice. And I could see them working well with these brown jasper beads actually. So number seven, these are 20 pieces of blue fluorite beads in eight millimeter. And these are actually faceted. They're very sparkly. I love all the different shades of blue and aqua. It actually kind of reminds me of the Mediterranean or something like that, but they're definitely stone and I love how the facets on them make them almost look a little bit wet. They're super glossy, gorgeous blue color. And I do like how everything is kind of coordinated in this box. You can definitely see the theme of 
that beautiful blue in the different chords, but then also these shades of browns and golds and creams. So it's very well tied together in that way. The next item we're going to look for is 35 pieces of brown faceted rondelle crystals in 8 millimeter. So once again, really nicely coordinated. These are very pretty. They are very sparkly with all their facets and the metallic finish on it. Rondelles don't excite me too much, just being completely honest, because they're very easy to come by. So I'm definitely much more excited about the gemstones in this box, just being that it's a pricier box and the unique stringing materials. But you know, it's nice to have something like this to use as an accent if you're trying to pull something together with the beads in the box. And these are very pretty and will accent those nicely. So number nine is a little bag of different things. It says it's one clover connector, one coral mother of pearl flower, and then one acrylic lip connector. So very interesting right here. I really like this. This is very pretty. This has a hole going up and down through that. And then these aren't really my style, but you know, if they're your style, that's great. They are definitely cute. We have this, which is very flashy with the little rhinestones on it. And then the lip is actually pretty cool. It's like clear if you look through it from the side. And then if you look through it from the top, you can see that it's got this gold color that shows through. You know, you could definitely make something very cute with those. It's not all about my style. I'm just being completely honest about my thoughts and opinions on if I would use these things, but we're all different. And I think that's what makes us all special. So I'm not knocking it if that's your thing. So the next item, it was another little mixed baggie. And this says it is one rhinestone accent bead, three faceted crystal accent beads, and one wire accent bead. So that's that is really cool. I don't have anything or have had anything like that. That's really interesting. Have this nice sparkly rhinestone and I love these. These glass beads right here, they're like darker on the outside around the circle and then lighter on the inside, but again, it's that gorgeous blue color. Really pretty, these should be fun to work with. All right, and then the last bag, number 11, contain these little clasps and cord ends, so that is always helpful, and then some jump rings, and it says that these are gold-plated. So these are very nice findings, and I do appreciate that those are sent in this box as well. So again, it was just so much fun being able to unbox another box with you guys and to give you an opportunity to decide if this is right for you, if it's something that you're drawn to, if it fits within your budget. For me, it's not something that I'm able to continue with to pay for personally. It's just a little bit outside of my budget and the pieces that are sent are just somewhat out of my beading style for the most part. I want you to make your own decision on what you think about it and just use this as a help Helpful resource to take a look at what is offered in the Urban Glitz Fashion Bead Box. So once again, this was the glam version, and I want to thank the owner so much for sending me another box to unbox. It's always so much fun. I appreciate your generosity with doing that, and I'm always happy to do that when you want to send one my way. So I will be back soon with more unboxings, more finished jewelry updates where I show you what I've made from some of the things that I've received in boxes like this, as well as more tutorials. I We'll leave a coupon code for you down below that you can use on this box if you're interested in signing up as well as the link for you to check out the different subscription options. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and as always, happy beating. If you enjoyed this video, I'd love for you to give it a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of my latest videos. Check out the information section under the video for links to my social media handles and other helpful info. And feel free to check out my shop at orchidinopal.com. Thanks for watching.